evening. So end of day two, uh, had a busy day today, was in the hospital, probably getting on for 12 hours actually. Started early um, at the chemotherapy department, which took about six or seven hours. I uh, was uh, in there quite early, came out, went to another hospital, had a pre-operation assessment, which is for the feeding tube, which is going to be on Thursday, and then came back for radiotherapy. Radiotherapy, brilliant, really slick. 15 minutes, done. Seven hours sitting in a department watching the world go by is quite entertaining. There was about 50 or 60 people having chemotherapy throughout the day. Huge department, very well organised. But you do get your, what I kind of describe as dragging Henry the Hoover around everywhere. Every time I'm going to go to the toilet because it's all on a stand. I was sitting there watching people coming in. There's some people that are really, really ill uh, and my sympathy does go to them. But we had one entertainment moment where somebody came in, which I was convinced was being arrested because he had his arm in a full Nelson with a guy behind him and then realised he actually was a prisoner in handcuffs um, from, I don't know what prison it was, but had two prison officers and they were permanently attached. One was permanently attached to him throughout the whole day. Even when he went to the toilet, they just had an extended cable. But near the end of the day, they were um, just trying to sign him out. And every time you do something, they have to ask you your name, date of birth, just to double check you are who you are. And by the end of the day, this nurse clearly couldn't be bothered to go to speak to him. So she sat in her booth and shouted across to his bed, what was your name? What was your date of birth? <laughs> And I looked around at everybody in the room because they knew he was a prisoner. I got their phones out and started Googling him. Naughty boy. Very naughty boy. Horrible piece of shit, in fact. But just goes to show, cancer has, does not discriminate. But, yeah, he had his treatment and then the prison officer frog-marched him back out, probably into a van and back to wherever he came from. So that was a little bit of entertainment for us this afternoon. Uh, as far as I'm feeling, I feel fine. I have to be careful what I intake. Um, but uh, I think by day three to five after the chemotherapy, when some of the anti-sickness tablets wear off, it will start to hit me a little bit. So at the moment, I'm a little bit buzzy because I've had some steroids earlier on today and they said they will make you a little bit hyper. And um, so I am gearing up for an early day tomorrow. I'm actually in a hotel um, with some friends, uh, work colleagues, who um, we had a long-term commitment, so I met with them tonight, and they got me a nice card. Some dodgy photographs of me um, in certain poses when we were uh, out in the evenings, and some nice messages, which I appreciate. But what they've given me is what's known as positive pickle, and that will be going with me throughout my journey, and I may send some photographs just to give a positive message. But overall, I'm happy, um, and we'll see how it goes. So, so long. And um, finally, just for a sign off, uh, just to say, um, I found out a way of sending a distribution list out of messages via WhatsApp, where you'll get the link to this video. I have no issues if you personally message me and say, please take me off the list, I've got no problem. You get a blind message, you don't see anything else from anyone, um, it just comes to you. So it's just my way of updating people. But anyway, thanks, speak to you soon.